Welcome to the backyard, folks. My name is Cosmo, and if I can cook, so can you. Hey, we're in a different backyard today. We're at my buddy Darren's house. We were here a few months ago, and he's got this awesome built-in grill, and he's never cooked on it. I don't know how old this grill is, but it looks fantastic. So we're going to throw some carne asada on there, some pollo asado, and we're just going to have a great time in the backyard. Stick around. This is going to be another great one. Cheers, folks. So let me just say, cooking on this thing has been an absolute freaking blast. Nothing but charcoal, and you can't control the temperature, so you gotta find your hot spots, you gotta find your cool spots, manage your meat, flip, flip, season. It's just been an absolute ride. It's just a lot of fun. So when cutting a flap steak, what you wanna look for is the grain. The rain, grain is going to run side to side, so you're going to want to cut against it to get those nice tender bite root strips. Well, here we are, carne asada, pollo tacos, and some elote. It doesn't get any better than that. Let's dive in here. I'm gonna start with this chicken. Mm. That marinade just popped. It is so good, so tasty. Going on the sweet side, a little salsa on there. Money. Let's get into this carne asada real quick. Mmm, that is tasty. Elote corn, this is one of my favorite things. It's just grilled corn, put a little bit of mayo on top, some tahini, lime, chili powder. We'll just get in. It's gonna get all in my beard, all in my mustache, so I'm gonna take this time to say, Please consider subscribing, drop a comment, drop a like. Thank you guys for watching another video. And stick around, we got a lot more coming up. Don't forget San Diego trip at the end of this month. So super stoked about that. Cheers everybody, thanks for sticking around. Oh yeah, another great cook. It was a blast hanging out with all these friends and family. Um, that carne asada came out so good. Oil was fantastic cooking on this grill was the coolest part though i had never cooked on a grill like this before as you see it's just a big cinder block rectangle it's got a great halfway through it that um, i use to put all the charcoal on and of course we're going to use fogo charcoal there's no better charcoal out there and then i put the top grate on there and it hasn't been used in like 15 years so just seared it real good scraped it real good I don't know if it's in the video, but I rubbed an onion on top of it. The enzymes in the onion, I don't know all the science about it, but it helps do something with the metal and it helps kind of clean it too. Then I just oil the crap out of it and tell you what, when I put the meat on there, no residue came up, so I know it was perfectly good. Um, hope you guys like this video. Stick around. We got a bunch of fun stuff coming up. 
huge road trip coming up that I'm so stoked for. And thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button. See you on the next one.